market, good morning. How are you lovely people doing? So I am about to head out and go to get my brows done together with Jay. I am kind of a horrible friend because I gave her this for her birthday and in a month it's our birthday again. So I'm super duper late. Oh well, it's time to head out and these are my brows before and soon you'll see the after results. We're going to brow studio by the way. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at Jay, her brows are all done and my brows are done too. I'm so yeah. happy. Oh yeah. Pretty brows for our weekend getaway, which I haven't really talked to you about yet. We are going to Gent and Brugge or Gent and Bruges is how some people I guess will pronounce it. And what you hear now is my bike. I have an old thing. We're now heading home where we're both gonna eat lunch at our own place. I need to pack. You've already started to pack. I'm kind of jealous because I have to do everything still. <laughs> oh well. Woo, the sun is shining. I'm so happy. I've got pretty brows and we're going to Belgium. Ah! And now I'm at my grandma's. Hi, Oma. Hi, Felicia. Hi. So I am a little bit hungry. So I'm eating this um, on the bite cook, which is like seasoned breakfast cake, I guess. I'm here because my grandmother is really sweet and we can borrow your car. Thank you again. Look at us, boo. You're so big now. Hello. Yeah, you're so sweet. Who remembers SB and has been watching my vlogs for a while? I'll do a little flashback. Small you were. You're almost kitty cat now, huh? Yeah. Even though you're kind of bad sometimes. <laughs> remember, remember the wallpaper? <laughs> I just drove home and now I have to think of how to pack because the two girlfriends that I'm traveling with, Jay and Sharon, they are both taking their little suitcases with. But I'm driving a Citroen C1. So that car is tiny. So, Gilly, would you mind excuse me and move so I can open the drawer, please? Thank you. Okay, so I gotta figure out whether I want to bring this bad boy. Ooh, everything's fallen out because I'm doing this one handed. This one is probably the best idea. This one would be like, bit too hard. I took this one with when I went on my little biking experience with my grandmother when we biked um, all around to Limburg. Oh yeah, you wanna check it up up there. Oh man, okay. Well, this bag I barely ever use, so I probably should use this someday. Maybe this trip will be the bag to use that. I was just trying out lipstick to think to bring with, but I decide not to, so that's why I'm all of a sudden wearing lipstick because I was testing them a little bit. I'm not sure why I bought it because I'm actually not too much of a fan of more tan looking lipsticks, but they were vegan. And when I went to Dusseldorf with Jay, um, I bought that at the DM store. Anywho, I think all my toiletries are ready. I now just have to figure out what kind of clothes I want to wear. I have a pair of shorts in case it's really hot. I have a crop top t-shirt, which is kind of loose, like kind of nice fitting. Then I have a regular t-shirt with a really cute detail in there. 
uh, and I could either pair that with these uh, these jeans or these pants, which I think it could also fit with this t-shirt or uh, like this combination is also possible. Then I have this skirt that is in the front a little shorter than it is in the back. It's this like suede kind of material. Not sure if it's actually real. I hope it's not. I'm assuming it's not. I could uh, compare that with that. If I don't feel like going all crop, then I can combine it with this t-shirt or maybe go for this one in, uh, on that skirt as well. I could also switch these two up, of course. I think th these two together don't really look nice. And then I went for one dress. I'm a little hungry and a little cake bread thingy, bread cake, whatever it's called in English, didn't fill me up all the way for lunch. So I am going to use this leftover spaghetti that I cooked up way too much of. I'm going to finish this coriander, uh, use some uh, olives, some mushrooms, some pepper, some leftover tomatoes, and I'm going to use hummus because I'm going to make Madeline Olivia's inspired hummus pasta, which is apparently super simple and easy. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is the end result. It actually looks pretty good. And while I cooked, I tasted it as well. And I was actually quite surprised that the hummus pasta tastes as good as it does because it's super duper simple and I never would have thought of putting hummus through my pasta until I watched a video. It's actually pretty good. Hey, oh my goodness, no, get off. No, get off. So looking up these vegan restaurants is actually super easy here in Ghent because this restaurant, for example, looks really flippin' awesome. I mean, vegan sweet treats. That sounds like heaven. I seriously hope that there's also a shop where I can find a ton of vegan chocolates. We're now at a gas station. Sharon is running away. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is the very first time that I'm trying the vegan Magnum. I'm excited to try it. It honestly tastes just like the regular one. It's good though. Mm -hmm. I also got some chips. We're in Ghent. And that was a little stressful experience because the little bar was flashing and I had to get gas. We have parked the car and we're gonna eat at some Ethiopian restaurant. delicious we're now walking back to the car and then we're gonna head to our hotel this is our room but I guess we are missing a bed I'm confused found it found the bed that's pretty good your bed stay yeah awesome job finding the bed it's time to lie down. Good night. See you tomorrow.